What's going on YouTube today? We are going to do a fuel prime system. I'm gonna show you how to do it. <laughs> So fuel prime system. So what we're doing is, uh, ever since I went mechanical fuel pump, um, if I drive the car for a while, um, you know, like for a cruise or I go, you know, grocery shopping or whatever, and I'm taking the car, especially on hotter days, um, what happens is the fuel uh, gets hot and it starts to form air pockets and vaporize in the actual line once the car is shut off and sitting for a while. And then it's hard to prime because <clears throat> the pump kind of loses its prime and it's hard to start. So what guys do is they run a primer pump. What I'm going to do is since we already have a pump that, that fills up our surge tank, I'm going to use that pump with a valve. So I got this three-way valve. And what this is going to do is allow me to direct the fuel flow where I want it. So I'm going to pull the valve one way and the, the filler pump will fill my surge tank like normal. If I'm in a situation where I need some fuel pressures to the rail, I turn the valve and I'm going to run a line from the valve up to the other port of my fuel pressure regulator and it'll pressurize my fuel rail. That way the car will start. I can turn the valve back to fill my surge and we're good to go. There's no starter fluid. You know, I don't have to do anything special to get it started. So it'd be a nice, easy way. And again, <clears throat> this doesn't happen when it's cold. It only happens when I drive for a long period of time. And then the fuel gets warm from the mechanical pump and it starts to vaporize. So we're going to do that today and I'll show you guys how to do it. All right. So we have our fittings and our valve here that we're going to use. Um, basically, this is our main fuel feed to the valve. And then this valve here, it turns and it even goes this way or it goes this way. So pretty easy situation here. I'm just going to mount this in the back of the car like this. One end's gonna go to my surge, the other end's gonna go to my regulator. This will be the feed, and then all I gotta do is turn this handle to get fuel pressure to the rail. So it's pretty simple setup. Um, so first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and get my line, kind of run, get an idea how long I need. I'm gonna go ahead and pipe, uh, pipe thread all these and get this mounted up and then see how much line I need. All right, so we got our first line. This is gonna be our normal surge feed line and we got the fuel pump line going in right there so right now if i were to turn it on it's just normal operation fills the surge up i'm going to run a line from here through there all the way up to the fuel pressure regulator and if i turn this handle it then fills this up which will fill up my rail with fuel so that should take care of my prime issue all right we are good to go there we got our feed on the one side. This is the return. Well, this is the feed to the other side that regulates the pressure. This orifice also regulates the pressure. And then the return is in the bottom. So <clears throat> it feeds uh, It feeds here, goes into my rails, comes out, comes back to the regulator. Regulator regulates the pressure, gets rid of what it doesn't want. This guy over here will also feed the regulator from my electric pump. And when that happens, it'll pretty much backfill that up into the rail all the way to the pump. <clears throat> I'm hoping that it's enough to get the pump spinning once this car starts, and then the pump will prime, and then we'll be good to go. And here's the back setup. So here we have our, that one's running to the rail. That runs to my surge. All I gotta do is turn this valve and now it's running to the rail. Turn it back, and now it's running to the surge. So we'll go grab the laptop, see if our little primer pump mod works. All right, we are working. Let me show you guys real quick. Go ahead and turn my valve. And when I turn the pump on, here's my fuel pressure. See that? 80 pounds pressure. Pretty cool. As you can see, guys, our primer setup is working. 
Got something on my forehead. So that's cool. Um, hard to really test. I need to go for like a long cruise. So it is a nice day out. I might take her from down the road and see how it does uh, with the hot start. And um, the mechanical pump just heats the fuel up and uh, vapor locks. So this should fix that problem. It's working in the garage. It's working cold just fine. So it should in theory work. So it's going to be a short video. I just want to show you guys what I had to do for priming the fuel system. Any kind of mechanical guys, you can even run an external prime pump. Uh, of course, I already had a pump to fill my surge, but if you guys need to add a pump, you can put it on a toggle switch or something to kind of prime the system real quick so it starts easier. So it worked out really well. So I'm pretty happy with that. So that's going to do it, guys. Short video. I want to show you guys how that is done. And it uh, seems like it's working. So comment, like, and subscribe. Appreciate you guys. Appreciate all the support. I'll see you guys in the next video. See you.